Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another 3 Minute Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about what tolerance is and why it's so important. Now, to be clear, I'm not talking about tolerance as if in the characteristic of tolerance, but rather tolerance in industrial design and everyday products that you or I might use. Tolerance is a gap between parts which allows it to either articulate or move, or it also allows it to be fitted. I'm bringing this up because just last month I discovered a new tool called a digital caliper. Looks something like this. So a brief history of the caliper is it originated from an inner caliper and an outer caliper. So an inner caliper actually measures the interior diameter or distance of a certain gap and an outer caliper will measure the exterior gap or outer diameter of something say like a tube. But what's so interesting about the digital caliper is that it introduces both calipers on the same tool. So you can be measuring interior as well as exterior dimensions with just one tool. This is super handy for someone like me because it, it provides you a convenient way to kind of check the th actual thickness of something. It's especially convenient when I need to make 3D models on the computer and custom parts for a real life object. So by having these dimensions that I can pull right from a real object, I can directly input them into the computer and I don't have to worry about it being too tight or too loose when I 3D print it. Right now I'm working on modeling some buttons for my custom PC BMO case and this is super handy because I can input up to a thousandth of an inch into the system being as accurate as I can. And ultimately this really saves me a lot of time when I do test fits. Now using this caliper, it allows me to control a lot of variables a lot more consistently when I'm making a design. But the only issue is that sometimes you're gonna get inconsistent results with some of your tooling. So Kyle, what does that actually mean? I'll, I'll explain. Depending on what you're using to create an object, whether it be 3D printed, CNC'd, or laser cut, the machine might not always have consistent results. And each one of these tools have their own characteristics. So the only way you can really learn all these characteristics is just by using it over time. Which leads me back to why I think the caliper is so important. You get the exact fitting of uh, what you measure and what you, put, you can put into your design. And from this, you can use these dimensions with your machine and adjust your file accordingly. And I think that's a really powerful tool because you can make things just accurate enough so that it's not too tight, but you can also have it fit just right. Wow, I'm rhyming today. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's all there is for this video. If you guys got some value out of it, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting weekly updates of little things that I learn and the projects that I'm working on. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.